there are a lot of uh, community volunteer days and so those opportunities are made available to everybody in the neighborhood and beyond the neighborhood and so um, as part of having a plot here, most plot holders have to put in about 16 hours of general volunteer hours to the garden throughout the year and so me and my family, we manage to get over here and help out in any way we can. In particular, we enjoy helping to prep for some of the major events like the Earth Day event. That was a lot of fun because there were so many people in the garden and leading up to that there were just so many happy people everywhere. The most recent Earth Day was amazing. I had seen these giant puppets in North Carolina and I was so moved by them. I was hoping we could bring that effort to Oakhurst in our garden. <laughs> and so for about two months prior to Earth Day, we had workshops building these puppets on Saturday morning and Thursday afternoon. And a wonderful disparate group of people showed up all ages and made these puppets and we had assistance from two really experienced puppet makers from the Center for Puppetry Art. I've been working in the Center for Puppetry Arts. I work in the education department. I took on these projects where I go bringing puppetry to the community as an art form. I got a call from Sally at the garden about how they had this idea to to do an Earth Day parade, and they really wanted to do it up well with parade-style puppets and things. And we had a lot of things where we got together at the garden and, and um, bring their families and kids, and we all come together and, and build oh man, all kinds of puppets. And so on Earth Day, everybody gathered downtown Oakhurst, and they were led by a marching band, and they, 300 strong, marched down this Oakby Road, and they came through the garden, and then out again. It was a wonderful time, and it was a great boost for the Oakhurst Garden as well, to show all these people what it was about.